Welcome back, Terrifics. We missed you during the break. Hopefully you missed us. This is your live continuing coverage of Photo Plus Expo 2015 at the Jacob K. Javits Center in New York City on Be Terrific, the official live coverage. Thank you guys so much for joining us. I am getting such great stories today, such great feedback. Please keep it coming at Be Terrific TV on all social media. Connect at BeTerrific.com with the email and join our Slack chat, BeTerrific.com slash Slack. Some of you guys have sent some emails. We haven't gotten a chance to get to them yet with the uh, Slack chat, but we will get you passwords and you'll be good to go for tomorrow. In the meantime, I would like to say thank you guys for hanging out with us, enjoying this great coverage, the great stories, and the inspiration. And since you like it so much, tap your neighbor on the shoulder, tap the guy at the cubicle next to you, tell your family, Be Terrific is amazing, great, positive, original programming and we got to spread the word. You guys are doing it in record numbers. It's just amazing. The numbers are insane, but we want more. We want to show the world that it's not only wanted, but needed, and it's here. Positive content, tech, sports, entertainment, news, business, and entertainment includes autos, gaming, film, music, and television. My co-host, Andrea Fasano, is holding an amazing lens. She's That's what I do. Barney. Thank That's you. That's what I do, guys. That's what you do? You do a lot more, but. Right now, you're being Vanna. You're right, like, yeah. tell them what they <laughs> want, Rod. Cool products. Can we so give this I'm away, okay Nikki? With that this is Nikki from show. Schneider Optics. Let Hi, just, let guys. Andrea, <laughs> just let Andrea give it away, like yeah, to one right. of the lucky terrific. Yeah, sure. <laughs> right here. Tell them what the they want, Rod. Four thousand dollar lens. You, I'm giving away free views. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> How much is that lens? That lens right there is uh, four thousand dollars. Four thousand, and you guys have lenses. I mean, so you guys. The interesting thing about Schneider Optics is you guys make amazing lenses. Yeah. But they kind of run the gamut. They go all the way from the low, low end, all the way up to the top. But the lenses are always high quality. I love Schneider Optics lenses. Well, this and is a special series. This is brand new this year. Our, our uh, Cine Xenon, what we're calling the full frame prime lenses. This is the really the first set of cinema prime lenses built from the ground up, not rehoused, but started fresh from the ground up, mm -hmm. specifically to cover the full frame cameras out there that are capturing motion. Uh, while that is slightly limited in, in the amount of cameras out there that are shooting full frame, we only see this as a future proof, if you will, because it's, it's as you know, growing and growing. Well, and there's no reason that uh, cameras with crop sensors can't use the lenses as well, right? That's correct. Yeah. That it's, is absolutely because correct. Because if you had the opposite, if you but had a, a smaller lens ring, uh, yes. it wasn't for a full frame, right. uh, and you put it on a full frame, you'd get a vignette and a lens ring in the absolutely. shot. Absolutely, yep. Because it sees less of the circle, you're still good. That is absolutely mm -hmm. correct. So uh, what's really great with these Xenar lenses are, uh, I mean, there's a lot of really great pluses. <laughs> <laughs> they are our Schneider Optics brand, so the, the well, talk, lens quality is Talk really about great. the lens quality for a second, because lens quality is paramount. Absolutely. And, and people don't necessarily focus enough on this. It's about how the lens, first of all, it's about the glass you start with. Right. About how the lens is crafted, manufactured, yep. it's about the coatings on the lens, and then of course it's about uh, the process, and, and every company does their lenses differently. Um, so talk about the process with Schneider. Well the really great thing is how they've designed our cinema lenses is that all of the lenses, and we have currently five focal lengths available in the full frame primes. This is the 50, but we've also got a 25 and a 35, and a 75 and 100. They're all in the exact same housing, nothing has changed. So uh, all of the, the gears are in the same place, the size of the front is the same, the length is the same. And what that does is when you're working with a matte box system, the last thing you want to do when switching out lenses is completely refigure your matte box sure. system. So now all you have to do is swing away the matte box, change the lens, swing it right back, and it's boom. So set people up. always ask why it takes so long and so many people to be on a movie set. Why it yeah. takes so long to film a movie? Because traditionally you have to do all this work just to change one lens. It's not as simple as shh. Right, right, shh. exactly. Right. So now you've made it so it's that simple. Your follow focus and everything it hooks up easily. What is the uh, aperture of this? It's a, it looks like it's a T. Uh, this one's a T21, which yeah. most of them are. We do have a 18 and a 135 coming next year as okay. well, so we'll be up to a set of seven okay. lenses. And, and um, so, it, uh, can you explain the difference between T oh. and F-stop? Because that's something I always get confused about, and I know that uh, 
I know there's a little bit of a difference, and I think it, one it's, is... It's actually a lot simpler than a lot of people yeah. think. So as we know, it, it's, a, it's the actual um, size of the opening of the aperture. And an f-stop is just a standardized stop that every single lens has. So if you have an f 5.6 on this lens, or your little $200 uh, Canon, you know, uh, still photo lens, that opening of that f-stop is the same. Right. Okay? <clears throat> That's what an f-stop is. It's a standardized size that almost all lenses have. A t-stop is just that the aperture is open at a different size that is specific to that lens. That's what I thought. Okay. That's what I was so, going to ask. Good. Um, that's, it's, it's a lot simpler than a lot of people uh, want to make, make it, it out. Yeah. I notice yeah. it's got mm -hmm. a quarter 20 mount on it so that you can mount the lens to the tripod, not necessarily the body. Well, or what you it can is, have is it's more support. with the matte box systems is okay. in that you have the support there, but uh, you always want to support the lens on some of these uh, because sometimes the lenses can be heavier than the camera, and that's the case even in say, photo lenses. Super heavy. You want to be careful, specifically with like the DSLR cameras, uh, you have less, less of this problem with the uh, PL mount, which is what this is. Right, I was going to ask you, that's a PL Yeah, mount. so the Canon mounts or the Nikon mounts um, are a little bit, um, um, I don't want to say less sturdy, because they right. are sturdy, but but a heavier lens, you yeah. need to be a little careful, because the last thing you want to do is pull that mount out. Sure. So well, PL but mounting is the lens, break. you can yeah. do that. Yeah. And that's a deep no, mount. Beside, aside from those obvious features yes. that you said are a little stronger, sturdier, and make the difference, why four grand versus, you know what I mean? Like what sure. makes this well, we have, $4,000? First of all, you have uh, this, the focusing capability on this, which is also what the difference between doing a cinema lens is versus using your still photo lens on your full frame camera, is that with an autofocus lens, your, um, your focus from close up to infinity is about that far. So to get critical focus, you just don't have it in an autofocus mm -hmm. lens. With a cinema lens, your focus is so is a really critical focus. Right. It's almost it's a it's almost a 280 degree rotation from close focus to infinity around. Wow. And so when you see those really beautiful shots when they pull away from your face and focus in on Michael's and it's just that really flawless. nice, beautiful, mm -hmm. flawless uh, mm -hmm. focus, that's what this lens can do. Very you're not cool. going to get that out of autofocus. No. <laughs> we also have 14 blades in our aperture wow. instead of your standard maybe, you know, eight blades or something. and. Where you can tell the real big difference is that does help with the focusing is nice, but uh, that's in that beautiful bokeh, as we call it, which are <laughs> when you see uh, uh, the lights go out of focus and they're beautiful circles, sometimes they look like octagons. Sure. That means that has a, a very small aperture um, uh, blade count, but this has a 14 blades. Also, when you're focusing with this, when you have that critical focus, there is little to no breathing. Mm. And what breathing is, is when you focus on something, when you are making that focus change, you won't see the background and the foreground uh, kind of do this weird, yeah, you know, yeah. kind of literally what oh, it looks like it's breathing it. or mm -hmm. something. And the way the mechanics are set up on this, there is little to very no breathing whatsoever. So it's really smooth. And so it's, it's really, really smooth clean. and it doesn't detract distract the viewers right. from something technically wrong sure. because you've got this type of a lens in there. I love so. her. <laughs> She's, no, I told you. explain what did I, things wonderfully. <laughs> yeah, what did I, I mean, say you know. to you when she walked <laughs> up? I fantastic. said, you will love her. Yes, absolutely. We love let me tell you one more really amazing thing about these full frame prime yes. lenses. Let's say you have a Canon uh, that you're starting out with and you want to start building your cinema set. And so you start buying your prime lenses, whether you want to buy all five of them at once right. or start just building them up. And then down the road, you become this really well-known person and you start expanding and maybe you want to go into a red. So red cameras, of course, have PL mount on them. And um, you're like, well, I don't want to sell. This is what photographers have always had to deal with. I want to move from one brand of camera to the next. I got to sell all my lenses. Stuff, nope, yeah. not anymore. 
what you do is you can send it in to us or take it to a place that has um, a service technician who typically can, can get it on a collimator to make sure that the focusing is set up. And it's just a simple exchange out of the mounts. Oh, wow. And you guys have some new mounts coming out soon. Absolutely. So it's currently available in PL, Canon, and Nikon. But we've now, uh, we see the future again. <laughs> and uh, by the end of this year, we will be shipping the Sony E-mount lenses. Wow, so that'll be great for the A7S and Absolutely. for the FS7. Yes. Wow. Which are real, I mean, I see those they're walking gorgeous. around all over the place. They're, and they're beautiful <laughs> cameras. They I, really I are. actually like shooting with the A7S that Adam has better than the C500. I'm not oh, kidding. Wow. And you can ask Greg. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Can, he's, he's heard me curse at the C500. So these are really yeah. versatile and lets you, and if you're a rental house, yeah. That's a dream, of course. because you buy one or two sets, then you have all the different mounts, and you're so versatile. And even as a as a camera op, if you want to have your own package and be really versatile out there, you've got the capability yeah. to do that. And and so you also do you guys make photo lenses too? I'm just curious because I know how many lenses you make. I don't know because I've never asked. <laughs> uh, we have been in the photo uh, business uh, making lenses, um, but honestly, that's um, starting to peter out, yeah. so we're really focusing in on cinema and you're going to see these lines and our other Cine Xenars as well, which is the Super 35 yeah. lenses, really expand. And there is a big difference between putting a DSLR lens that was an automatic lens made right. for a photography camera, even if you're using a DSLR, like you said, you can put this right. on, a, on, a, on a Canon EF mount or a Nikon yep. F mount, there's a big difference between using this to shoot cinema. Right. Then Again, using, it, it comes yeah. back to that focusing really is the main thing. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now you've yeah. got some filters that you want to show yeah. us. Yeah, uh, we're also in the filter business. I mean, we basically, you got a camera, we've got everything for the front of it, <laughs> all right? You're the front of house, uh, the camera's the, the back of house. Yeah, exactly. So we have two filter lines. We have our B plus W filter line, which Ooh. everybody, yeah, almost <laughs> uh, which a lot, especially this group, really everybody knows the B plus W filters, really high end, German made. Um, the cool thing with all of our filters, brass rings. Um, had somebody stop by the booth this week and she's like, it's a good thing I didn't have a filter on my front of my camera because I bent in the rings on the camera when I dropped it oh. on the front. Whoa. And I said, nope, actually wrong answer. You should have had a B plus W on there. Yep. Any of the aluminum filters are going to bend in if sure. it takes the hit. But good with front. a brass ring, that is not going to bend into the front threads of your of your lens if, God forbid, it does take a fall. I was going to say, who's will, dropping the lens I of their know. camera? Oh. You would be surprised. I'm you got sure. you put that on the front of your camera and go drop it. Uh, that's uh, my bigger concern is that I drop the four thousand dollar lens. Yes. Well, yeah, no, but I'm talking yeah, like no, you've got know, your Canon and like your it, DSLR, yeah, but still, yeah, be careful. Because these, these filters work happens. on any camera. It happens. It happens. It does happen, and accidents happen. Yes, sure. exactly. You yeah. know, um, so we make a really beautiful, and the quality of the glass that's in there is the same, if not sometimes better, than the quality in your lens. And the last thing you want to do is degrade the quality by putting a filter on the right. front of it. I want to see if I could show off these filters on, on our so camera. So this is right a really cool new filter. This is our new HTC polarizing filter. Okay, <laughs> will, will it work in front of a GoPro? Let's see. Probably. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> now here's what's really cool with this one is, you know, polarizers <laughs> usually drop you down at least two to two and a half stops. So you have to use your polarizers with a lot of really good light often because two and a half stops is a big difference. Okay. Um, the new HTC, which means high transmission, we're only going to lose about one stop now. Adam's going to put it in front of the okay. lens so we can see. Yeah. So that's that's the shot. Take oh, it down and then put it up. You might not see a lot here because what a polarizer Whoa. does. Well, you is can't see a lot. It's, it's, yeah. You get you the nice tan. Some. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. always good. I need that. Yeah. But a polarizer is going <laughs> to, you know, cut off reflection sure. off of glass and water. But it's also going to increase contrast outside and make just beautiful. Your clouds pop out and your skies go blue. Cool. But again, with this, you're only losing one stop rather Love than it. your two and a half. That's which amazing. Which is amazing. Amazing, especially because you need polarizers. Yeah. Especially yeah. When you're shooting water on boats, all sorts of stuff. Absolutely, mm -hmm. um, yeah. This I've seen this before, but fun. I'm excited about it. This is fun. So we I also think we, you showed this off at NAB, is that correct? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we also make our MPTV Look filters, which we make in the U.S. This is actually a really good example <laughs> of it because you can and, see. And um, we make a bunch <laughs> of different ones, including NDs and Polas. And these go in matte boxes, and also we have we do have drop-in filter holders for that. We we take the Lee holder filter holder and modify it for the glass. And um, 
these, this is our fun new streak filter that has our confetti streaks, so it takes all the colors of all the streak filters that we have and makes this fun, uh, yeah, there's not much of a light source. Well, I, got, I showed it, I yeah, showed it, it off here. the GoPro, yeah. and it's kind of cool, you can see yeah. it in the corners there. If Adam gives it back to me, I can put it back on the GoPro. And um, of course, course of the streak face. filters <laughs> are the ones that make the, our traditional streaks that. make that anamorphic, recreate that anamorphic streak that, right. you know, or as I like to call it, the J.J. Abrams streak, because he really seems to have claimed, <laughs> reclaimed that and brought Absolutely. it all back into yeah. our science fiction, so. How, how much cool. are map boxes and how hard are they to use? They are not hard to use at all. Map boxes can range anywhere from, you know, $500 up to a couple thousand dollars right. or several thousand dollars How do you know even. which is the right one? So like if I buy that lens, I want to put a matte box on it. I want to be able to put these filters on, maybe some of your polarizing filters, some of your other filters. Well, we distribute in the U.S. the Crozeal, so I'm going to obviously say Crozeal, another German company who makes <laughs> amazing products that are really versatile. I'm sorry I didn't bring any of that stuff with me today, but um, yeah. And they are not in the low range. They're more in the mid to high range for matte boxes, but um, they're extremely durable. You know, the, the big thing with the inexpensive ones is that they're great, but they're not always super durable. So if you are the only user of your matte box and you are taking care of it, then an inexpensive one will last you a long time. But where it really comes into play is that uh, focus. Um, um, sure, sorry, you know, follow focus. Follow focus. Yeah. Um, those, it is better to spend a little bit of money on a good follow focus because you don't want to have any play, sure. when you focus in, when you have a good lens like this with critical focus, the last thing you want it to do is over, right. over focus or under focus because it's not working And your well. filters will fit in all those matte boxes. All the fat, yeah. yep. This That's is a standard, what they call P size, which is Panavision size, which Panavision is pretty much standardized right. the size of most matte boxes, but they also come in four by four. And then also some much bigger glass for the really big, airy um, map boxes that they make for the big, big lenses. For the, that, for the Alexis. Uh, yeah. Very, yeah. very cool, very cool stuff. Well, you, look, you get what you pay for. Yeah, absolutely. And if that's you're serious, you got to be serious. Head. Seriously. That's yep. it, yeah. It's true. So, Nikki, oh my Thank God, you. it's so good like to that? see you yeah. again and have you on. The Terrifics love back. you. Andrea oh. now loves you, and of I course, I do. I, you're, you're the best. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see you again soon. Yes. And uh, we love Schneider Optics. You guys oh. make great stuff. We love all you guys the way, too. All the way down to your iPro series, yep. which is for iPhone. You know, so you want to get great glass on your iPhone? You got to go with the yeah, iPro series. That's so cool. Yeah. That is way cool. Yeah, yeah, very cool. We'll be back with a whole lot more of your I'm live continuing official coverage of Photo Plus Expo 2015 in New York City on Be Terrific. We'll be back right after this. Don't go anywhere.